Hi guys, welcome back to the Drive Life channel and in today's video we're talking about the A-Class and we're going to determine whether it is a real Mercedes or not. So, let's get straight into it. So the, the Mercedes A-Class um, was essentially Mercedes, baby Mercedes. Um, it, was a, it was a car sort of de designed for the masses, um, designed to rival the Volkswagen Golf and BMW 1 Series. Um, and we recently acquired this car, um, so I wanted to talk about whether it feels like a real Mercedes or not. Um, I've had a bit of experience with Mercedes, um, I've driven the C-Class, um, had the chance to drive an E-Class as well, and an SLK. So I've driven a few Mercedes, and I just wanted to talk about how this compares to um, those other cars. So immediately from the front, it's quite clearly a Mercedes. You've got the massive... Um, Mercedes logo here on the grill um, and this is the Mercedes diamond grill that they introduced in just after the facelift on this car um, and again these Mercedes headlights are sort of fairly quintessentially Mercedes you've got the the LED fiber optic stripe up there um, and these are the laser lights as well um, and then the front of it obviously is adorned um, with not only a feather but a Mercedes logo um, so for me, when I think of Mercedes, I think of a big saloon car um, with the emblem sticking up at the front, which unfortunately they don't seem to be doing anymore. Um, which I think is a real shame because I really was a fan of the the, the hood ornament or the bonnet ornament, um, as they're they're called, um, different parts of the world. And um, yeah, this this car for me is quite a departure from Mercedes um, sort of tradition but i think it was definitely um the right business move to make um, mercedes were lacking um a presence in the hatchback market um i mean you had the bmw 1 series um the audi a3 the volkswagen golf um and this was a massive chunk of the market that volkswagen really wasn't uh, sorry mercedes really was missing out on um so in terms of a business decision, I think it was definitely the right way for Mercedes to go. Um, but what they needed to do was make sure that it was still a Mercedes. And um, that's essentially how they marketed this car. It was the fact that it's a Mercedes um, hatchback. It's the hatchback, so the Mercedes of hatchbacks. Um, and I think they've done fairly well. Um, not only by the style, and we'll go around the back now, but there's a lot of stuff that you'll find on this car um, that is also found on the larger, um more expensive cars such as the um e-class or the c-class or even the s-class there's features on this car from the s-class so um let's get into it um we've got the key here which is obviously very typically mercedes um i think they've used this key now for about 25 years it appears um definitely since the millennium um it's been a key and they still use it now on the modern mercedes although it's a bit posher um but on this one we've only got um, lock and unlock whereas on the more expensive cars um, you get a boot button as well and that's purely because this car wasn't offered with an automatic um, or electrically assisted tailgate um, and it also doesn't have the springing function like the uh, C-Class and E-Class do so it is just your standard um, boot manual hatch but if you come around to the back here again you can see that um, obviously it's adorned with the Mercedes badge and the a220 um badging here um i think it was 24 sorry 2015 2016 they changed this from a220 cdi um to a220 d in line with mercedes um the rest of the, the brand um we've got typical mercedes uh fake exhausts around here actually in these ones though there are actually exhausts so it's not too bad um and You've also got a lot of this fake venting as well, which is quite frustrating. But again, it's a typical Mercedes trait of this era. Um, they're doing so. Uh, yeah, it's 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 all typical stuff. Um, in terms of the lighting, you can definitely see some C class in there. Um, so that's they've done quite well to sort of encapsulate that as well. And we've also got the 18-inch alloy. Um, AMG alloy wheels as well, which you can literally find on everything um, up to an E-Class, I think. So, uh, yeah. Um, these mirrors, 
are pretty much identical. I think um, there's a channel that I watch called Auto Europa Naples, and the chap calls these um, pickle forks, um, but they're not obviously not that. But um, yeah, it's definitely um, got bits from other traditional bigger Mercedes. And here as well, you can see more of that um, sort of fake venting as well. Um, it doesn't go anywhere. There is some sort of pitot tube here, which sort of measures um, ambient temperatures and stuff like that. But um, if we if we open the car up, as you can see, it's got the uh, the indicators in here as well. And at night, these these light up and they actually turn blue first, which is quite cool. We've got the LED headlights as well, um, which is the option on this car. This car is very heavily optioned because it's a special edition uh, motorsport edition. Um, there's only 66 of them made, so it's got all stuff like the premium plus package. But we'll get into that when we get inside the car. But yeah, as you can see from the exterior, it is very very Mercedes, and um, I like it to be honest. It's a nice, comfortable good looking car it has a presence on the road as well despite its sort of small size um, so this car has keyless I know I've already unlocked it but um, we can lock the car or unlock the car and then as we get in you're greeted by a very Mercedes interior you're also on this car greeted with illuminated tread plates but um, immediately it's quite clear what you're driving this sort of um, design of the dashboard steering wheel etc was found in um the c-class um and it i think well not quite the e-class because um it's a bit fancier but if we if we hop in now <coughs> there you can sort of see where i'm seeing now and as you can see you don't feel um short changed at all it's a very very nice little interior um you've got nice metallic finishes here nice flat bottom steering wheel because this is equivalent to amg line um, in terms of the boat sport spec um, and it does feel very very mercedes in here um, it's a lovely lovely place to be there are a few uh things where you can tell that there's been cost saving i'd like these buttons to be a bit more um less of a hard plastic um and there's things like this so the center console will move um, and this area is sort of hard plastics, but in terms of the Mercedes feel, it definitely gives you the impression that it's quite clearly a Mercedes. Um, in terms of stuff that's carried over from uh, the traditional Mercedes cars, you've got the Parktronic sensors here, and you've also got them in the back. You can't see them on the camera, but um, yeah, we've also got things such as the electrically adjustable seats there. Um, this is all the same switch gear from the C-Class. Um, as is the lights, as is the handbrake, as is the instrument cluster. So, yeah, like I said, you don't really feel shortchanged or anything like that. Um, in terms of comfort, these seats are lovely. Um, they're the motorsport edition, so they're Alcantara, and they've got this lovely striping. Um, and you've also got the stitching and everything like that. Um, but, yeah, it's really only sort of lower down that you can tell that it's not um, the absolute elite mercedes but actually it's absolutely fine you've got a carbon fiber effect finish here but it's soft um i'm going to assume that's to make it nicer in, in the event of an accident but you get the full big screen here um, as part of the premium plus package you've got paddles on the back here which are nice and metallic and you've also got the column shifter as well so um you definitely don't feel shortchanged at all um these to this um when you experience this um now this might just be me me being weird but um these the way that these turn is just magical um if they're so smooth um they're machined aluminium and i think they really really help improve the feel of the car the, all your touch points such as the um the handle here um bits on the wheel they're all the right materials they're all metal they're cold to the touch and they just feel um really really quality uh, so that's definitely a positive in this car i was not going to do it because i haven't got the engine on but we've also got the panoramic roof as well which is excellent um definitely something i recommend if you're going to buy one of these cars get one with a pan roof um and also we've got a lot of ambient lighting so underneath the headrest here with these amg sports seats you have ambient lighting you have ambient lighting in here 
um, you have it in here. It's all of footwells as well. It's a very, very well lit car. I think Mercedes nowadays with the new um, W177 um, A class have gone a bit over the top. They've got it all in events and everything. And it seems to be a sort of the way they're going is um, you, they're sort of um, trying to get luxury through um, lighting. I think they call it technology, but it's it. I'm not sold on it to personally. Um, but we've also got the existence of the Harman Kardon um, sound system here as well. But if we pop the bonnet, Mercedes likes to try and... It's definitely a Mercedes because they um, hide the bonnet releases very far. And I think that's what I might be popping this side. Um, to, we'll um, give that a find and I'll show you. Um, can we see it underneath here? Ah, oh, there we go. That red, that one there. Definitely a Mercedes, because they hide that really, really far under the car, um, or under the dashboard, which makes it a nightmare to forget to. Um, and this, I think, is sort of the biggest giveaway. Um, the next, door dog, next door's dog is um, barking away. I thought it was just under the middle here, but... I seem to be unable. Okay, so I found it. That was user error um, on my part, but um, oh, it's still not easy. This is where you can sort of tell. Um, as you can see, we've got a, a propping up stick um, for the bonnet, and this is where Mercedes sort of saved their money in terms of the fact that the more um, expensive cars are gas strutted on the bonnet um, so that's something but um this is the 220d engine which is using everything up to sort of um but not including the s class um, so it's sort of up to the e class in all the 4x4s etc and this i think this engine's what makes it feel good this car um it's also got a little tiny in fact um dual clutch transmission which is um designed specifically for this car it's a seven speed it's essentially um a dsg gearbox that's been re-engineered and built by mercedes so um they won't obviously like you saying that so um i'm gonna keep that quiet but um yeah this engine gives a boatload of torque um and it just moves the car on just as a mercedes should do really uh, we had this in our c-class um and it was a fantastic engine for that car so the fact that it's in an even smaller package here um it just seems to make it really really nice um you don't have the option like you do on the other cars um to hyper extend the bonnet which i think is a shame because it was sort of a a typical mercedes feature um that you only got on a mercedes there's no other cars that really do that um and yeah like i said it's just a bit of a shame it doesn't really allow you to have the full mercedes experience for those of you that don't know uh, what i'm talking about um the mercedes bonnets go completely up to allow full access so if you're if you're doing a job here for example um, with a battery you don't have this um, in your way it's completely upright um which again is is just a way that mercedes have saved money um and don't get me wrong um i think it's totally acceptable um these cars definitely feel premium um and they to be honest i think mercedes have achieved their goal of feeling or making them feel like the mercedes of hatchbacks um it's a thoroughly comfortable car to drive um it's enjoyable and actually the A-Class feels like a little little go-kart. Um, it feels like a it's nimble, it's, it's good at handling. Uh, this has got the AMG suspension, so it's slightly stiffer, but it does really do a really, really good job. It holds the road well, and it takes bumps really well as well, which is typical Mercedes stuff um, that Mercedes have got right. Um, there's sort of just enough Mercedes in it to make it a Mercedes, um, whilst also making it affordable. So, um, yeah, that's it, guys. Um, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Let me know your thoughts on uh, the a-class whether you think it's a real mercedes or not um did they do as good a job as the beam bmw one series and bmw did um obviously the new one's gone front wheel drive now like this car so that's another interesting topic um but uh, yeah let me know what you guys think and i'll see you next video cheers